immensity of our universe. For many days before the end of our Earth, people will look into the night sky and notice a star, increasingly bright and increasingly near. As this star approaches us, Jim Stark, I'll go find a place. I'm sorry. As this star approaches us, the weather will change. The great polar fields of the north and south will rot and divide, and the seas will turn warm. The last of us search the heavens and stand amazed, for the stars will still be there, moving through their ancient rhythms. The familiar constellations that illuminate our night will seem as they have always seemed, eternal, unchanged, and little moved by the shortness of time between our planet's birth and its demise. Orion, the hunter, one of Ptolemy's constellations and the most brilliant in the heavens, divided by Boy. the equator into two nearly equal portions. What? Just below the belt is situated the celebrated... I was just Orion thinking that uh, once you've been up there, you know you've been someplace. Gemini, the twin, of which Castor and Pollux are the two most important stars, are almost equal in brilliancy. Cancer, the crab, containing a large, loose cluster <laughs> of stars called the Precipi, or the Beehive. Hey, I'm a crab. The answer is in all the limited places on the Earth where the sun can be vertically overhead. Taurus, the bull, an extremely ancient mm -hmm. constellation. Mm. Ooh, that's real funny. A comedian, Buzz. Yeah, he's cute. But he's real rough, too. I bet he fights cows. Sagittarius and Aries, consisting of eight... Hey, you shouldn't monkey with him. He's a wheel. Hmm. Buzz. So is she. It's hard to make friends with these guys. I don't want to make friends long after we have gone. And while the flash of our beginning has not yet traveled the light years into distance, has not yet been seen by planets deep within the other galaxies, we will disappear into the blackness of the space from which we came, destroyed as we began in a burst of gas and fire. <laughs> are still and cold once more. In all the immensity of our universe and the galaxies beyond, the Earth will not be missed. Through the infinite reaches of space, the problems of man seem trivial and naive indeed. And man, existing alone, seems himself an episode of little consequence. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. May I have your attention? May I please have your attention? May I have your attention? May I have your attention? Oh, what the heck? <laughs>